Good morning. In our PSHE session today, we are going to be discussing grief and loss. And in the session, we're going to try and understand what grief is and how it can impact on people on a variety of ways. We're also going to identify strategies to cope with bereavement and understand what support networks are available. Now, I wonder if you've ever lost an item, something that's perhaps important to you. What was it? What did you do? How did it make you feel? Pause the video and for a minute, discuss this with your neighbor and then perhaps share some of your ideas with the class. Isn't it interesting the range of emotions that people feel and go through when they lose something? I remember not too long ago thinking I'd lost my mobile phone and uh, my life is on my phone. So yes, I did feel quite a range of emotions. Now, losing something or perhaps someone important to us can make us feel sad, lost, angry, hurt, distraught. Perhaps this is something that you have felt or perhaps this is something that you are aware of others having felt. In some ways it's a bit like this huge oak tree that's been ripped out of the ground after standing there so majestically for so long. And it leaves behind a great big hole. It looks brutal. It looks horrible. It looks a mess. We know because of the times that we are in that we've been perhaps hearing about death far more than we were probably exposed to before. On the 26th of January 2021, the UK passed the 100,000 mark for deaths in each one of those, a person with a family due to COVID. But of course, it's not just COVID. Now for someone going for grief, going through grief, it's not something that has a script. Sometimes it can be really complicated and for each person it's different and that is okay. One study came up with this model of grief. And what this is trying to show is that people go through different phases and they can go through those phases again and again and again. So let's have a look at this. Perhaps you've lost somebody or know of somebody. There may be a time of just feeling absolute shock, numbness, denial. You might have outbursts or weight loss. Then there could be protest, where there's such preoccupation with thoughts of that person that you loved. You could be feeling real anger in that time. Or perhaps there'll be a phase of disorgani disorganization, confusion, depression, withdrawal, aimlessness, restlessness, apathy, a feeling of unreality, 
feeling alone. And then there could be a phase of reorganization, trying to find a new pattern of behavior, finding meaning in death and life. And perhaps the cycle could happen again and again and again. And in some people, it may lead to more deterioration or over time, it leads to recovery. Child Bereavement UK suggests that this feeling of grief can feel fresh for the first two years. And of course, birthdays, anniversaries, Christmases are particularly hard. And that is perfectly normal. These are some giant sequoia trees that have been around for hundreds of years. And sometimes they've gone through some awful things like great fires. And scientists can see when they cut down these trees, the rings that show the black areas where the, when the fire was. But then they see huge amounts of growth thereafter. It doesn't always feel like it at the time. But in time, with time, it is possible to grow, to keep going, to have hope. Not that you want this, but there is always hope. And how a person deals with their grief can be so different. For some people, it's like a bouncy ball bouncing on the beach. It goes out and comes back again and goes out and comes back again. For other people, it's like holding that ball in the sea, trying to hold it down. It's desperately trying to come up, but you still try and push and push it, push it down. And this is really what we call hard grief. Sometimes that ball just needs to be let go. And it's important that you look out for these signs in those that you care for. doesn't seem possible at the time but in time life starts to grow around you again these are really comforting words from Romans 5 3 to 5 for we know that suffering produces perseverance perseverance character and character hope not that anybody wants to go through this but there will always be hope at the end of the tunnel. But what can you do if you know somebody who is grieving? The best thing you can do is be there. Just be there. Listen. Encourage your friend to talk if they want to. But it's okay just to sit in long silences. Offer reassurance. Give them space to express their feelings. Don't promise any quick fixes. Encourage them to talk. Here are some more ideas and perhaps you've come across others too and so we finish the session in prayer god of love and mercy embrace all those whose hearts today 
overflow with grief, unanswered questions, and such a sense of loss. Grant them space to express their tears, hold them close through the coming days. Amen.